Okay, you can see I'm taking a, a board and running it down. Uh, I used some of that PNL glue and glued it to this stringers, and and I've got it clamped up, and then I'm using these um, washers with screws to to lock them together. I'll come back and put these cat boards on it here. Um, I'll just uh, finishing nail those down. I don't want them to have big holes in them or anything. So, um, but then I'm going to fiberglass over, come up and over, and you know, and back a certain ways here and over on the other side to kind of trying to lock that all together and kind of um, protect it from the top for a good while. And I'll end up doing this uh, on these other two stingers, stringers also. I'm not claiming that this is the right way to do it or even a good way to do it. It's just the way I'm gonna do it. It's just what I think I can do and, and it still come out decent. Uh, time will tell. Um, but the idea will be that that I get those in, that'll give me some extra wood, good wood to screw down the flooring to, and um, and I should be able to get it somewhat watertight, because once I can get the top, get the new uh, flooring in, I'm gonna really seal it in with fiberglass, and hopefully uh, there won't be much room for water to get into it at all anyway. I've now got all three of these stringers um, fiberglassed in, and, and that'll give me a good, strong surface to put my half-inch plywood. I've got my plywood over here. This is one piece of it, and this is the bottom of it, and I'm painting it with that same paint. It's an enamel, protective enamel paint. I'm putting it on the bottom here instead of fiberglassing it because the whole point of this is to keep water out of it. What I'm doing here is uh, taking some of this one inch styrofoam and I'm filling the voids from where the styrofoam that came in it uh, had got waterlogged. So this will help as a sound barrier and, and uh, take up water space, I guess. this originally would be a good uh, support board a support you know system for my deck but I'm deciding now that it's becoming more of a uh, more problematic so I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off down here flush around the edge all the way around and then grind it down smooth and then I'm gonna run a half inch all up to fit you know as much as I can up in here before I uh, completely uh, fiberglass this whole floor in.
to 10 cc's of hardener, which is about the right temperature, about 85 degrees. And then I put them together in a bucket, and then I just keep stirring in flour until I get this peanut butter consistency, like this. And now I can go and fill cracks. doing here is building a transition because this boat has a kind of a floor and then it has this rise on both sides here so what I want is to get a nice transition where I can come down with my, my fiberglass down into here and then I'm gonna cut separate pieces that'll fit onto this here mm -hmm. 